My name is Maritha Lasugina Danyamni. I live in Quincy, Massachusetts. I'm currently in eighth grade. As a young person, it is hard to sort through the news. In seventh grade, I saw an interesting post. I didn't have any of the tools to see if it was real. So I sent it to all my friends. But then after when I was reading like the 10th time or so, I realized it was fake, but it was already too late because they spread it to their friends and so on. I realized fake news is like a ripple effect. It's hard to stop after it gets started. I first started using technology in the beginning of eighth grade. When I first understood the concept and realized, I felt like half of the world I was trusting just turned upside and down on me. We've all been fooled by a story or post, only to learn that it wasn't real. But if we share that information, we can wind up unwittingly contributing to the pollution of our digital environment. It really helped me see the difference between fake news and real news. I had to stop looking at some websites because I realized they didn't really cite their source or have any things that supported their reasoning. Now, after using technology, I feel a lot more informed and confident because I can actually see which is fake and which is not fake. I think news literacy should be wider spread. This is a skill that I will not forget. I'll probably even try to teach it to others. I think it's really important the whole globe is really news literate. No matter what the country is, everyone needs to know what's true. I feel really special and proud to be named News Literacy Project's Gwen Eiffel Student of the Year. Now I feel like I'm following the footsteps of this really inspiring journalist. So I just want to thank News Literacy Project for naming me Gwen Eiffel Student of the Year.